Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. In this video, we will discuss about jump and call instructions of SAP2. Jump instructions change the program sequence. Instead of fetching the instructions in a usual way, with the use of jump instructions, computer jump to another part of program. This is considered as next step in evolution towards modern computer as it opens past possibilities in programming world. Jump instructions of SAP2 includes JMP, JM, JZ, and JNZ. Call and read instructions are used to call and return subroutine. By subroutine, it refers to program stored in a memory for possible use in another program. We will further discuss about each of these instructions in detail. One of the jump instructions is JMP. JMP is the mnemonic for jump. It tells the computer to get the next instruction from the designated memory location. It is unconditional, that is, once the instruction is fetched, the execution cycle always jumps the program to a specified address. For instance, GMP 3000S tells the computer to get the next instruction from memory location 3000H. So this much about the GMP instruction. Another jump instruction of SAP2 is JM. JM is the mnemonic for jump if minus. The computer will jump to designated address if and only if the sign flag is set. If the accumulated contents become negative, sign flag will be set. Otherwise, sign flag will be cleared. For instance, if 3000H is stored at 2005H, after this instruction is fetched, program counter is equal to 2006. If sign flag is set, then execution of 3000H loads the accumulator with 3000H and the next instruction will come from 3000H address. If not, then the instruction is fetched from 2006H. It is conditional flag, that is, the program occurs if and only if the condition is satisfied. If the condition is not satisfied, then the jump will not occur. So, this much about the JM instruction of SAP2. Likewise, JZ is another jump instruction. JZ is the mnemonic for jump if zero. It tells the computer to jump to the designated address only if the zero flag is set. For instance, suppose JZ 3000H is stored at 2005H. If zero flag is set, during the execution of JZ 3000H, the next instruction is fetched from 3000H. If zero flag is not set, then the instruction will come from 2006H. It is conditional flag, that is, the program jump occurs if and only if the condition is satisfied. If the condition is not satisfied, then the jump will not occur. So, this much about the JZ instruction of SAP2. Another jump instruction is JNZ. JNZ stands for jump if zero. In this case, we get a jump when the zero flag is clear and no jump when it is set. It is, uh, its operation is opposite of JZ that is jump if zero. For instance, suppose a JNZ 7800H is stored at 2100H address. If jump flag is clear, the next instruction will come from 7800H address. If not, the program falls through the 
instruction at 2101 H. It is conditional fact that is the program jumps occurs if and only if the condition is satisfied. If not, then the jump will not occur. So this much about the J and Z jump instruction of SAP2. Call is another SAP2 instruction. Call is the mnemonic for call the subroutine. By subroutine, it refers to program stored in memory for possible use in another program like finding, finding signs, cosines, square root, etc. Every call instruction must include the starting address of the desired subroutine. For instance, if a square subroutine starts at address 5000H, then the execution of call 5000H will jump to the square subroutine. Call instruction is also unconditional like JMP. That is, once the instruction is fetched, the execution cycle always jumps the program to a specified address. That is, it do not depend on any conditions like other jump instructions. So, this is all about call instruction. RATE is another SAP2 instruction. RATE stands for return. It is used at the end of every subroutine to tell the computer to go back to the original program. Rate functions same in subroutine as all to a program. So this much about the rate instruction. We will see programming examples later on. If this video help you understand, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you will get notified when new content pops up.